This is the National Weather Service with Alaska's statewide weather. Pavlov Volcano is currently erupting and producing an ash plume. Pilot reports plume heights over 35,000 feet. Southeast winds are sp is spreading the ash northwestward at 100 knots and is expected to disrupt air travel across the Bering Sea tonight through Sunday. Otherwise, the same southeasterly flow is continuing to bring surges of moisture northwestward from the Northeast Pacific into Kodiak Island and the Alaska Peninsula, as well as Bristol Bay in the southwest part of the Bering Sea. Periods of rain and light rain and snow occurred across the Yukon and Kuskokwim deltas. This should scatter out to a few isolated showers tonight with uh, areas of rain and snow persisting over Bristol Bay. Look for gale force winds to gradually diminish across Kodiak Island later tonight, but periods of rain with fog will continue. And there'll be areas of rain from the Alaska Peninsula back toward the eastern Aleutians to as far west as Atka throughout the overnight hours. Otherwise, interior Alaska will remain fair with light winds and cool temperatures. Skies will be mostly clear with winds continuing light across the southeast coast. A storm over the northeast Pacific currently caught up in this strong southeasterly jet will move northwestward rapidly tonight with high pressure retreating into northwest Canada. This will allow gale force winds with gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour to push northward and farther to the east along the north gulf coast during the late hours tonight and throughout the day on Saturday. Otherwise for tonight it will be fair over all of interior Alaska. There will be some patchy fog along the Arctic coast. Otherwise, winds will be quite light, and this will extend along the panhandle. Variable clouds and some scattered rain and snow showers will be persist over the Kilbrook Mountains and locally around Nunavak Island. And then for Sunday, the stronger frontal system will push rain to the North Gulf coastal areas during the morning hours and to the southeast coast, mostly from Port Alexander northward during the afternoon. Otherwise, cr clouds will gradually increase over the remainder of the southeast coast. Southeast winds will keep rain in along the Alaska Peninsula, but it'll become more showery with uh, partial clearing over the eastern Aleutians. And another system will keep easterly winds of 15 to 25 miles per hour with periods of rain over the central Aleutians. That system will move